From the lush rainforest to the arid deserts, our planet bears the indelible mark of time. It whispers tales of ancient civilizations, of landscapes transformed, and of the intricate dance between humanity and the Earth. Today we embark on a journey into the captivating realm of geoarchaeology, a field that deciphers these whispers, unveiling the hidden stories etched into the very fabric of our world. Geoarchaeology, you see, is more than just digging up the past. It's about understanding the intimate relationship between people and their environment over millennia. It's about reading the subtle clues left behind in the soil, the sediments, the very stones beneath our feet. It's a journey that takes us from the vastness of geological epochs to the minute traces of human activity, revealing a tapestry of life woven through the ages. Join me now as we delve into this captivating world, exploring the innovative methods and the brilliant minds that are shaping our understanding of the past. We'll meet the pioneers, delve into their groundbreaking research and uncover the secrets that lie buried beneath our feet. Prepare to be amazed by the power of geoarchaeology to illuminate the human story. Our journey begins with David R. Montgomery, a geologist with an unyielding passion for soil, that often overlooked layer of earth beneath our feet. Montgomery's work isn't just about rocks and minerals, it's about understanding soil as a living testament to the passage of time, a chronicle of natural processes and human interaction. In his seminal work, Dirt, the Erosion of Civilizations, Montgomery unveils a sobering reality. The rise and fall of civilizations are deeply entwined with the way they treat their soil. He shows us how unsustainable practices led to the demise of once thriving societies, their legacy buried beneath layers of eroded earth. But Montgomery doesn't just offer warnings, he provides hope. By understanding the delicate balance of soil formation and erosion, he argues, we can chart a more sustainable path for the future. Montgomery's work serves as a powerful reminder that the ground we walk on is not merely dirt, it's a living archive of our past, a precious resource for our present and a key to a more sustainable future. Our next stop takes us deeper into the earth, exploring the intricate layers of sediment that hold clues to past environments and human activities. Mark M. McClure, a leading figure in geoarchaeology, has dedicated his career to deciphering the stories held within these layers. McClure's research focuses on sedimentary environments from ancient riverbeds to long gone coastlines. By meticulously analyzing the composition, texture and layering of sediments, he reconstructs past landscapes revealing how they have changed over time. These reconstructions provide a crucial backdrop for understanding where and how ancient people lived. His work has revolutionized our understanding of archeological sites, revealing not just the remnants of human activity, but the environmental context in which those activities took place. Through McClure's eyes, we learn to read the subtle language of sediments, unlocking a treasure trove of information about our past. As we venture further into the 21st century, technology plays an increasingly vital role in unraveling the mysteries of the past. Catherine M. Freeman stands at the forefront of this technological revolution, championing the integration of geospatial technologies in archaeological research. Freeman's work beautifully illustrates how cutting-edge tools like Geographic Information Systems GIS, remote sensing and digital mapping can revolutionize our understanding of archaeological sites. By combining these technologies with traditional archaeological methods, she creates a powerful synergy, revealing patterns and connections that might otherwise remain hidden. Imagine, if you will, being able to visualize entire landscapes in three dimensions to map the distribution of artifacts across vast areas, or to analyze subtle changes in topography that hint at buried structures. This is the power of geospatial technology in the hands of a skilled geoarchaeologist like Catherine M. Freeman, pushing the boundaries of our knowledge and revealing the past in unprecedented detail. Geoarchaeology isn't just about reconstructing past environments, it's about understanding how those environments shaped human societies and how, in turn, humans shaped their surroundings. William M. Adams, a prominent voice in the field, has dedicated his career to exploring this dynamic interplay. 
Adams's research sits at the intersection of environmental archaeology and social science. He delves into the complex relationships between environmental change, social adaptation, and the resilience of human societies. His work challenges us to look beyond simple cause and effect narratives, recognizing the intricate web of factors that shaped our past, from the collapse of ancient civilizations to the adaptation strategies of traditional communities, Adams highlights the enduring significance of environmental factors in human history. His work serves as a timely reminder that understanding our past relationship with the environment is crucial for navigating the environmental challenges of the present and future. Sometimes the most profound discoveries come from the smallest of details. Catherine A. Duffy, a leading expert in micromorphology, has made a career of uncovering the hidden stories held within microscopic particles of soil and sediment. Duffy's work centers on the analysis of thin sections, minute slices of soil mounted on glass slides. By examining these sections under a microscope, she can identify individual grains of pollen, charcoal and other microscopic remains, revealing a wealth of information about past environments and human activities. Imagine being able to identify the crops grown by ancient farmers, the types of wood they used for fuel, or even the presence of animal dung, all from tiny fragments preserved in the soil. This is the power of micromorphology in the hands of a skilled researcher like Catherine A. Duffy, a window into the microscopic world that unlocks macroscopic secrets of the past. Every field of study needs its guiding lights, individuals whose contributions illuminate the path for generations to come. In the world of geoarchaeology, Brian F. Smith stands as such a luminary. Smith's impact extends far beyond his own research. He is renowned for his meticulous fieldwork, developing and refining techniques that have become standard practice in geoarchaeological investigations. But perhaps his most enduring legacy lies in his writing. Smith has authored numerous influential texts that serve as essential resources for students and seasoned professionals alike. His clear prose and rigorous scholarship have made complex concepts accessible, shaping the way geo-archaeology is taught and practiced worldwide. His books are not mere textbooks, they are treasured guides passed down from one generation of geo-archaeologists to the next. As we grapple with the growing realities of climate change, understanding the long-term relationship between humans and their environment becomes ever more critical. Elizabeth A. Stein's research stands at the forefront of this endeavor, bridging the gap between past, present and future. Steiner's work focuses on the impacts of climate change on archaeological sites, demonstrating the relevance of geoarchaeology in contemporary discussions. By studying how past societies adapted to changing environments, she provides valuable insights into our own potential vulnerabilities and resilience. Her research serves as a stark reminder that climate change is not a new phenomenon. By understanding how past civilizations coped with environmental shifts, we can glean valuable lessons for adapting to the challenges of the Anthropocene, the current geological age shaped by human activity. Elizabeth A. Stein's work empowers us to face the future armed with the wisdom of the past. Imagine, if you will, soaring above an archaeological site, not in a helicopter, but through the eyes of a drone. This is the vision brought to life by Peter A. Jeg van Dalen, a pioneer in the use of drone technology for archaeological exploration. Van Dalen's innovative approach has revolutionized the way we visualize and interpret ancient landscapes. Drones equipped with high-resolution cameras and sensors can capture detailed images and data from previously inaccessible vantage points, revealing hidden patterns and features. From mapping vast areas to creating intricate three-dimensional models of archaeological sites, Drones have become indispensable tools for geoarchaeologists. Van Dalen's work exemplifies the power of embracing new technologies, pushing the boundaries of what's possible and seeing the past from entirely new perspectives. Geoarchaeology, at its core, is an interdisciplinary endeavor drawing upon the expertise of geologists, archaeologists and other specialists. Sarah L. Bennett embodies this collaborative spirit, seamlessly weaving together insights from multiple fields to enrich our understanding of the past. Bennett's research delves into the complex interplay of geology and archaeology, 
demonstrating how these seemingly distinct disciplines can illuminate one another. She recognizes that the boundaries between natural and cultural processes are often blurred, advocating for a more holistic approach to studying the past. Her work has opened new avenues for understanding cultural heritage, highlighting the interconnectedness of human history and the natural world. By embracing multiple perspectives and fostering collaboration, Sarah L. Bennett paves the way for a richer and more nuanced understanding of our place in time and space. Our planet's coastlines, those dynamic edges where land meets sea, hold a particular allure for geoarchaeologists. It is here that the forces of nature and the traces of human history collide most dramatically. John R. W. Harris has dedicated his career to exploring these coastal narratives, uncovering the stories of ancient communities shaped by the ebb and flow of the tides. Harris's research focuses on coastal geoarchaeology with a particular emphasis on the impact of rising sea levels on ancient settlements. His work carries a profound sense of urgency in our present day as we face the growing realities of climate change and its impact on coastal communities worldwide. By studying the archaeological record of past sea level rise, Harris provides invaluable insights into the challenges and adaptation strategies of ancient societies. His work serves as a stark reminder that the impacts of climate change are not merely a future threat. They are a recurring theme throughout human history, etched into the very coastlines that have sustained us for millennia. Too often, the wonders of scientific discovery remain confined within the walls of academia, hidden from the public eye. Margaret S. Decker stands as a champion for breaking down these barriers, passionately advocating for public engagement with geoarchaeological research. Decker believes that the stories unearthed by geoarchaeologists belong not just to scholars but to everyone. She has dedicated her career to making this complex field accessible and engaging for a wider audience, sharing the excitement of discovery and the importance of understanding our shared past. Through her captivating public lectures, engaging museum exhibits and innovative outreach programs, Decker has inspired countless individuals to connect with the wonders of geoarchaeology. Her efforts remind us that science is not a solitary pursuit, but a collaborative endeavor one that thrives when knowledge is shared and celebrated by all. From the icy expanses of the Arctic to the sun-drenched deserts, Wayne D. Trask has traveled the globe, driven by an insatiable curiosity about the relationship between environment and human history. His extensive fieldwork, spanning a diverse array of climatic zones, has established critical links between environmental changes and archaeological records. Trask's research underscores the global nature of environmental change and its impact on human societies throughout history. He has documented how past civilizations cope with droughts, floods, volcanic eruptions and other environmental challenges, providing valuable insights into the resilience and adaptability of our species. His work serves as a powerful reminder that we are not isolated from the natural world, but inextricably linked to its rhythms and processes. By understanding how past societies interacted with their environments, we can gain a broader perspective on our own place in the world and the challenges we face in the Anthropocene. Geoarchaeology, at its heart, is about more than just uncovering the past. It's about understanding our place in the world and our connection to the landscapes we inhabit. Thomas embodies this ethos. Recognizing the importance of community engagement and collaboration in archaeological research, Thomas is a strong advocate for partnerships between geoarchaeologists and local communities. She believes that by working together, researchers and community members can create a more inclusive and meaningful understanding of the past. Local communities often hold valuable knowledge about their ancestral lands insights that can enrich and inform archaeological interpretations. Her collaborative approach fosters a deeper connection to heritage, ensuring that archaeological research benefits not just academics, but also the communities whose histories are being studied. In the pursuit of knowledge, it is essential to question assumptions and challenge established narratives. McCarthy embodies this critical spirit, encouraging scholars to think deeply about the philosophical underpinnings of geoarchaeological interpretations. 
McCarthy's writings explore the interpretive nature of archaeology, urging caution against viewing the past solely through the lens of our own present-day perspectives. He reminds us that the archaeological record is not a neutral archive. It is shaped by natural processes, human actions, and the biases inherent in our interpretations. His work challenges us to be mindful of the stories we construct about the past, acknowledging the limitations of our knowledge and the importance of considering alternative perspectives. Hidden within the very bones and teeth of our ancestors lie chemical signatures that can unlock secrets of their diets, movements and connections to the wider world. Laura Eck Fields, a pioneer in the use of isotopic analysis in archaeology, has dedicated her career to deciphering these hidden stories. Fields' research focuses on the analysis of stable isotopes, variants of elements like carbon, nitrogen and oxygen found in archaeological remains. By measuring the ratios of these isotopes, she can reconstruct ancient diets, trace migration patterns, and even identify individuals who originated from different regions. Imagine being able to determine what ancient people ate, where they traveled, and how connected they were to distant communities, all from analyzing the chemical makeup of their bones. This is the power of isotopic analysis in the hands of a skilled researcher like Laura E. Fields. Cities, those bustling hubs of human activity, often seem far removed from the natural world. But Raphael J. Garza's work reminds us that even the most urban environments are inextricably linked to the geological processes that shape the landscapes upon which they stand. Garza's research focuses on urban geoarchaeology, exploring how geological factors influence the location, growth and development of ancient cities. He investigates how access to water resources, building materials and fertile soils played a crucial role in the rise of urban centers. His work challenges us to see cities not just as products of human ingenuity, but as integral parts of the Earth's dynamic systems. By understanding the geological underpinnings of urban environments, we can gain a deeper appreciation for the complex interplay of natural and cultural forces that have shaped our world. Arid environments with their scarce water resources and challenging conditions might seem inhospitable to human life. Yet it is in these very landscapes that Tina R. Walsh has made groundbreaking discoveries, revealing the ingenuity and resilience of ancient societies who called these regions home. Walsh's research focuses on geoarchaeology in arid environments, exploring how past communities adapted to the unique challenges of these regions. She investigates ancient water management systems, agricultural practices and settlement patterns uncovering the strategies that allowed people to thrive in seemingly unforgiving landscapes. Her work challenges our assumptions about the limitations of arid environments, demonstrating the remarkable capacity of humans to adapt and innovate in the face of adversity. Tina R. Walsh's research reminds us that life even in its most tenacious forms, is inextricably linked to the Earth's diverse environments. As we conclude our journey into the world of geoarchaeology, we are left with a profound sense of awe at the intricate tapestry of time woven into the very fabric of our planet. From the smallest microfossils to the grandest geological formations, the Earth bears witness to the enduring interplay of natural forces and human endeavors. The researchers we've encountered, these dedicated individuals who delve into the Earth's archives, remind us that the past is not a distant, irrelevant realm. It is a source of knowledge, of cautionary tales, and of inspiration as we navigate the challenges of the present and future. Their work illuminates the deep connections between humanity and the environment, urging us to become better stewards of the planet we call home. So let us carry with us the lessons learned from the Earth's rich history, recognizing that our actions today will leave their mark on the landscapes of tomorrow. For the story of humanity is inextricably entwined with the story of our planet, a narrative written in stone, soil and sediment, waiting to be deciphered by generations to come.